In this video, I'm going to give you an over the shoulder step by step guide to doing YouTube keyword research so that you actually make videos focusing on keywords that A, people are actually searching for and B, you have a chance of ranking for. And it's important that you take both of these things into consideration. Too many people will make random videos and they'll target keywords that nobody is searching for or they'll go after ridiculously high competition keywords that they don't have a chance of ranking for. So you need to make sure that you understand both things and it's super simple. So let's get cracking. So we're over here at YouTube and the first thing we want to do is we want to think of seed keywords that our ideal viewer, our target customer, our avatar is actually searching for. Now we can choose informational keywords, how to, we can choose buyer keywords, product name review, we can choose comparison keywords, product A versus product B, but it all needs to start off somewhere. So just randomly, I'm gonna choose the keyword banana smoothie. So I'm gonna click in this and start typing banana smoothie. And the first thing we see is YouTube spits out all of these options with Banana Smoothie England. This is called the autocomplete function. And these are keywords that people are actually searching for. Now we can go one step further and I could say Banana Smoothie and I could type in another letter of the alphabet, so B. And then we've got all of these keywords with banana smoothie and we've got bowl benefits, bowl recipe. And we can see a little bit of data about this, but there's a lot more that we need to do and just choose one that gets some search volume. Now what I can also do is I can go before banana smoothie, just click here and hit underscore and space. And then you can see the word banana smoothie flips to the end of the phrase. So now we've got strawberry banana smoothie, how to make a banana smoothie, how to make a strawberry banana smoothie, so many different options. But again, this is where most people stop. They think, okay, people are making, people are searching for how to make a strawberry banana smoothie. I know how to do that. So I'm going to make a video on that. That isn't the best thing to do, but it is a starting point. So let's choose one of these random things. Let's say um, how to make banana smoothie with milk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on over to this tool here which is called Morning Fame and this is really really cool because it, because it connects with your channel and then you input keywords and it gives you data about that keyword in relation to your channel size. So let's just go back and remind ourselves what it was. How to make banana smoothie with milk. So I'm going to type this in how to make banana smoothie with, and then we've got it here, you see it pops up because it's in the autocomplete, so we'll click on this and we'll let it load up for a second and we're gonna find information on this. So what does this tell us? So it gives us this grade, EFFA, and it has a green check and it has 67. So first of all, the green check means that it is actually a keyword that people are searching for. Oftentimes when you use Morning Fame, you've got a great idea for a keyword, you put it in and there's a cross, which means no one's searching for it. So you wanna make sure that people are searching for it. And according to Morning Fame, um, the number should ideally be above 11. So we're cool there. However, if we um, click on this, what can we see? We can see that it's really difficult for my channel, with the size of my channel that I've got connected to Morning Fame, to rank for this because it gives us a score of EFFA. Now if I click on choose for step three, what this is going to do, it's just going to basically tell me that I don't really have much chance of ranking for this, this keyword, even if my video is the best ever video on this topic. Because when we compare other channels that have made videos on this particular keyword, they've just got much more authority than me. And if we come down here, we've got this one here, 1.15 million views. We've got uh, another, they've basically got millions and millions of views. This gateway video has got 11,000 views, 10,000 subscribers, 323,000 subs. So whereas it might seem like a keyword that you can rank for because it doesn't get a whole lot of search volume, it's super competitive. And unless we also have an authority channel in which by this E may become a B or a C, it's just gonna be too tough. So what we really wanna do is you wanna go back to topic and we wanna see if we can find something else. So I'm just gonna type in a different kind of smoothie. Let's put how to make strawberry, uh, strawberry smoothie. And let's change it with condensed milk, slightly longer tail, and see if this is gonna give us any more information. So we can see that this is a little bit better, DDEA. And it also gives us other common keywords and uncommon keywords. Now in this case, there's not a lot of those, but sometimes 
A morning phone will give us a whole bunch of uncommon keywords which are great for newer or smaller channels and these ones which are great for huge channels. So this look, how to make strawberry smoothie with condensed milk, if I'm gonna click on this and click choose for step three, this is a little bit of a better keyword for me. Um, I wanna get DDDB, well I've got DDEA, so it's not too bad. So I might think, well okay, I'm gonna make a video about this. Now I can analyze this and look at the other videos um, and all of that stuff, but if I choose for step four, then it's going to give me the opportunity to create the title and the description before I go ahead and make the video. So I wanna make sure that I've got my video optimization down before I go ahead and record this. So you wanna have your keyword in the title. Now in this case, the keyword is quite long. So this might be all we wanna have. We don't really wanna go above 60 characters. Yes, we've got 100 that we can use, but if it's too long, it just doesn't generally do well and a lot of traffic is on mobile and it doesn't really fit in so well. So you wanna try and get a short um, title. Now, if you've got a smaller keyword phrase, you can also add an element of intrigue or clickbait for the human. This is for the machine, how to make strawberry smoothie with condensed milk. So I'm gonna just copy this and I'm gonna put this at the start of my description and this is really all I need to do to optimize my video. I've got it in the title and the description, that's it. I don't need to get my keyword phrase 100 different times in the description. I don't need to write a novel. I don't need to add tags. What I will need to do is have a really stellar thumbnail. And you wanna make sure that your thumbnail looks good on a mobile device. There's too much text here to have it on a thumbnail. So I might just put strawberry, something like that, or strawberry smoothie, and then have a really bright coloring that stands out on YouTube, looks good on mobile, and that will be more than enough. Now, of course, in real life, we would add a little bit more to our description, couple of sentences, maybe a link somewhere, it's entirely up to you. But let's just see what happens if I change this. How to make strawberry smoothie. So let's get rid of how to make. Now, my video is not optimized for that particular keyword because it's important to have the whole phrase. So we put that back in. And then I might put hyphen and something, uh, I don't know, amazing, something like that. But just by adding that word, it brings my optimization down a little bit. So you've got to really play around with this and try and get a mixture of keyword and human element in there as well, because what's gonna make people watch this video is your thumbnail and your title. Once they've clicked on that, then of course the video content or quality is really important. But Morning Fame is great for doing your research finding keywords that your channel can rank for. You start with autocomplete, you then go over to morning fame, you find a keyword that you can achieve rankings for, and then you optimize your video and you make your video and you make it public. Now, of course, once you've done that, there's a lot more to it. This just gives your video a chance of ranking. It doesn't mean it's gonna be number one or number two because you've got an amazing relevance score, but it gives you a chance. And once you are ranking, then you need to focus on other factors to ensure that you either stay at the top or near the top, or you jump up. And those are things like click-through rate, so making sure that when people search your key, for, key phrase and they scroll up and down, they click on your video, hence thumbnail and title are super important. And of course, watch time, your video needs to be good so that people actually stick around for a long time. So all of those things combined are things that you need to take into consideration when doing your YouTube research for your videos. I hope you found this video useful. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to that channel, hit the bell notification, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in another video soon. Cheers. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or you need more clarification, go and watch the video once more. Over on the right hand side, we have some more trainings and reviews, so go and watch those as well. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, and hit the bell notification. Other than that, ask any questions you've got below, and I'll see you soon.